Uh-oh, somebody's giving it a little lick. Isaac invented another game. So this local bakery has one day a week dedicated to all gluten-free things. So we're excited to go see their selection and what they have and taste some of their things. Okay, we found it. The Laughing Place Bakery. Do you see all this stuff? I have a guess that I know what you're gonna order. Yeah. This. Hey, what is that? What do you see? Cinnamon rolls. Caleb ended up choosing an almond blueberry cake. Is it good? And Janae found this to play with. So for the first six months, Caleb's not supposed to have any oats either, and a lot of these things contain gluten-free oat flour, so he wasn't able to choose everything here today, but they did have a few things that were made without oats in them either, and then we can come back in a few months and try the rest of it. Six months is super long. Yeah, but it'll go pretty quick. Janae is loving this little toy and this little chair set. We decided to try this cake for dessert tonight, and Kayla wants to try the lemon cake. Well, that bakery was amazing. The people in there were so kind. They said that a couple of them have to be gluten-free, and so that's why they have their bakery have one day a week that's gluten-free. And then the owner came over and took some time to talk to Caleb, and she shared the story of Caleb from the Bible with him and talked about how that story can be an inspiration to Caleb as he's going through his own challenges right now. And obviously, that's part of why we named Caleb his name, but I hadn't thought about using that connection right now to help him with the struggle he's going through. So I was so grateful for that, and then she also brought him over a cupcake that she's working on the recipe. It's a gluten-free cupcake, and she wanted him to taste test it. What'd you think, buddy? It was the best cupcake I've ever had. You liked it? Mm-hmm. So the other day, Janae did a whole somersault by herself. Do a somersault? Yeah. That's what she did. She did a somersault. <laughs> okay, let's try it. <gasps> a front flip! <laughs> More. More. <laughs> more. <laughs> and whoa. She can do front flips. <laughs> it's an awkward thing. <laughs> do you want to do it back? Again. Whoa. <laughs> this girl brings so much joy. It is folding laundry time. Everybody's got their own little piles. Mom cares about us folding. She cares about us working. I do. She cares about us playing. She cares about us loving. <laughs> So I've been in a lunch rut. I've only been wanting to make peanut butter and jelly or honey sandwiches or like quesadillas. So I mixed it up for lunch today. Green beans, oranges, and cottage cheese. Super easy to prepare. What do you guys think? Whoa, he's stuffing his face. Pretty good, huh? And I have a lot more oranges. Different. Good. <laughs> different. <laughs> different. Good different or bad? Okay. And if we pass a lot of cars, we win. Oh, and you're driving? Yeah. What do you do with your feet when you drive?
Janae is napping while Jeremy works at home and Caleb has a play date. So I'm taking these other three kids to the library. We're gonna sign up for the summer reading program. Oh, thank you. Good job team. They're following the arrows to the summer reading program. Scoping out the prizes. Oh, it's a Barbie soccer player? So when we find books at the library for Elise, she does the five finger test, which means that she takes the book, she flips it open to the middle, and she reads one page. And on that page, every time she doesn't know a word, she lifts up a finger. And if she gets through it and still hasn't used up all five of her fingers, then it's the right level for her. If it's too easy, she can tell me it's too easy, but if she doesn't know more than five of the words, then we're gonna do a different book for now and save that book for another time. So that's what she's working on right now. She's been doing the five finger test on all of these. Isaac's looking up some of the recommendations he got. Uncle Mike suggested suggested the original Hardy Boys series. So Isaac's picking out some books for Caleb. The I Survived series. The kids wanted a picture here at this photo backdrop. Okay, we loaded up on books. Time to head home and read. I'm signing up for something. Oh, what are you signing up for? I don't know. You signed up for the summer reading program. I know. It's so exciting. We spent way too much time at the library and now we only have 10 minutes to get everything that we need at the grocery store. Luckily we don't need much, but just getting in and out. I don't even think this is possible. Run. Good job, good job. The important things we're picking up here. Chocolatey chocolate. All right, that was 15 minutes. Five minutes more than we had, but still pretty good. Caleb's coming up with me today to the law practice. If you didn't know, my brother and I do have a law firm together, and we've tried to set it up so that even you, if you are needing help with something from a legal matter, you can click on, I have an iCard up here, and we've tried to set it up where the things we do, if it matches with what you're needing, you can get help from us. And in the past, I have been able to reach out and have phone calls and help some of you who watch our videos, and that's been really exciting. So uh, check it out if you're needing any legal help. We love corn on the cob, and I love that I have helpers to help me shuck the corn. It's corn on the cob. It is corn on the cob. But are these things edible? No. Those are the leaves that protect it from all the animals eating it while it grows. Does Nene want to help? Here, put it in the bowl. Janae knows what this Everything. is. This little girl loves corn. Oh. Yes, I'm almost done. Uh-oh, somebody's giving it a little lick. <laughs> She's like, what was that? First watermelon of the season. This looks like a juicy one. I'm not very confident in picking watermelons. Okay, but that's pretty red. Is it watery or sweet? It smells good. Okay, break it in half. <laughs> We're still learning about how to do this barbecue thing, so presentation's not on point, but the food smells good. All right, Jeremy and I have decided this is the all-American barbecue, and the kids were waiting for us to start their food, but your bowl of watermelon looks a little small. Dad, I was a little bit hungry. Here's the cake that we got from the gluten-free bakery. Do you guys all wanna try it? Yeah. It looks good. Mmm. Looks like a strawberry shortcake type cake. I like this gluten-free cake more than most cakes. I know, it's super good. Looks like we might get some rain. It's a beautiful sky. So yesterday, around this time, there were these teeny tiny little baby rabbits. Janae was loving it. So we're coming out to see if we can find them. Oh, oh, I see it. There it is. Well, that little baby rabbit looks a little scared. Yesterday, they were just like running around in our driveway. So I had an interesting experience at the library today. I was walking by a little girl and I noticed that she was kind of tearing up. So I looked in front of her and behind her and I didn't see any parents close by. So I leaned down and said, are you okay? And she broke down crying and like hit her face in my lap and she just said, I can't find my dad, I'm lost. And so I said, I can help you, it's gonna be okay. And I took her up to the front desk and she told the librarian her dad's first and last name and they called it over the intercom and he came up to get her right 
away and it was sweet to see that moment when she, you could see the relief on the little girl's face like oh there's my dad and I just know as a parent that fear like when you've lost your kid even for like 15 30 seconds it can be very scary so this was a good reminder to me to review with my kids what to do when they get lost or separated from me in public places so that's what we've been doing today here's a little recap for you number one stay where you are number two call out for mom and dad because we might be close by and you just don't see us number three ask someone for help you can ask an employee at a store that you're at a police officer someone like that that can help you find your parents or you can always look for a mom with young children because the moms with the kids they know how to help kids we're trying to knock the circle off isaac invented another game oh, so close. it just there's this one. Oh. <laughs> that one hit me in the face <laughs> In the poll, who do you think is gonna knock off the purple thing first? Oh! Almost. And Got it! <laughs> Janae gets it! I'm gonna throw one. Okay. Oh! Isaac for the win! It should, it's only fair that once Isaac makes it, everyone gets a chance to try to tie him and then go into a throw off. See how I'm inventing rules as we go? That's part of making up games. Oh! Very close. Will it go to a throw off? making up games and playing like this. Yeah. Good night. J House out. He got it. Do you guys smell skunk? We could even make matching skirts for all the girls. 